Oh, then the women's 50 metre fly, the event that we saw all that drama in on day one, but we won't see Therese who broke the world record and then had it taken away. But could we see Marika actually challenge that world record mark? Look, I think I think she has a great chance. She went 25-7-6 in the semi-final, so she was the first time for her under 26 seconds. She's only 0.3 of a second away from it. I mean, that's really the difference between nailing your start even more, nailing your finish even more, and having just the most perfect race. Therese is sitting back and watching this, so that'll be the, I guess, the most ironic thing if yes, she does indeed. do it. Marika is the defending champion here, but Libby Trickett, of course, uh, a former winner, and uh, you would, I guess, say that those are the two favourites. Yeah, definitely. Here we go with Nadine Jones from Mount Awarding in Victoria. Yeah, but trains at the AS with Shannon Rollison. He's the head coach of the AIS. PB in the semi-finals for her. Elise Zaleski. Was with Ian Pope, now with Rowan Taylor, moving across to the Nunawading Club. Here's Jess Shipper. Bit, bit short for her, do you think, this distance to, yeah, she, to win? I did notice, though, in the semi-final, her start has improved dramatically now that she's with Stefan Vidmar, so I think it will be too short for her. Better suited for the 100 and 200 here. She did have a, a second in the Commonwealth Games in the 50 fly. And here's Marika Gura. Took all the cash last year, missed out on the, the team to Beijing, but took all the World Cup cash. And as we mentioned, the new Commonwealth and Australian record in the semis. Here's Libby, psyched up for this. She did a personal best time in the semis of the 50 fly, so she's looking forward to trying to better that. She's the Olympic champion in the 100 butterfly, of course. This not an Olympic event, but a, a world championship yes, event. that's right. Felicity Galvez, she's a member of the world championship team from last time and actually she's been to every world championship since 2003 and a two-time Olympian. And Alice Mills, another well-known name. Also a two-time Olympian. Missed the last Worlds in 07 but went to the two before that. And this is the world champion from 2005, Danny Miatke. We almost kind of lost her to the sport. She was going to go to America and take up a scholarship over there and at the last minute decided to go back and train with Ian Pope, a new coach for her. So rebuilding for her, she'll be back in 2010. 15 metres underwater, they're allowed to travel. You must break before that, break to the surface. So they're on their blocks for the women's 50 metre butterfly final. And we're looking primarily for lanes three, four, five, and six with Shipper, Guerra, Trickett, and Galvez. And they've made a pretty good start, the two favourites in Guerra and Trickett. Here it goes to the lead, Nicole. Yeah, already Marika Gura is making a great uh, one breath, 35 metre mark again. She's got a lead already. She can't be beaten here. She's pushing that world record mark. It looks like she's going to just fall short. But Gura is the guru. She wins. And Trickett also gets inside the qualifying time. And that is a new Australian record. Well done, Marika. Personal best time. She has missed the world record by 14 one hundredths of a second. Not much at all. She'll get that very soon. 26.02 for Libby. She's also done a personal best time. Well done to her. But it was an awesome start. That's Felicity Galvez closest to you. Libby Trickett in there as well. And Marika Gura with the blue cap. But by 35 metres, she took her first single breath. That's the five metre mark to go. And head down, it just beautifully put together. Just she's gained so much experience over the last little while. You know, she represented Australia in 2004 as a backstroker. Now she is just performing so brilliantly in butterfly and freestyle. Had to shorten up an extra stroke on the wall. But that was the experience. She could have chosen to go long and butterfly kick in. She would have been slower doing that. So well done to her. Now she's just continued on that wonderful form from the end of last year, hasn't yeah, she? Straight she, into the new year. She has. Now, Libby also under the qualifying time, so she's qualified for the World Championship team with that. And uh, Mark Howard's found our winner downstairs. Marika, congratulations. A new Commonwealth record and back-to-back -back titles here. Yeah, thank you very much. How was it out there? Uh, a start where you seemed to come up last and then bang, you just put the other uh, power down. I don't know. I don't know. I just tried my best and, yeah, came up with a good result. I guess in the, these events, it's so close on the wall. The start is so important. How did you get away? Um, well, I don't know. I'll have to go back. You know, 50 is so fast. All you can do is try and go out there, 
It's a bit like, you know, how some of you fastest, you know, so I'm not exactly sure what happened, but, you know, I got there in the end. Whatever happened, it must have happened nicely. A busy night for you tonight. You're up again later on in the pool. You already set a personal best earlier on today, so things are going well. They are. They're going perfectly at the moment. I surprised myself this morning and did 0.7 PB, so let's see what can happen later on. Congratulations, Marika. Well swam. Thanks very much, Harry.